Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Taz Olson here, and today we're going to be working on some sweet color correction techniques that I've been working with lately in Adobe After Effects. And yes, I was recently sick, so I couldn't make any videos, but basically, um, it's the kind of thing I, I made like pictures like this, uh, neat color correction techniques. And yes, I know I screwed this up here, did not put it under the glasses when I should have, but whatever. It's just like, we're basically working with the color correction technique here. Uh, unfortunately, I deleted the original photos, but, um, yeah, they really are some interesting stuff. So here I've got my video. This is already color corrected. Don't really want to use this. Uh, here's the original. You know, that doesn't look very good. So let's show you how we do this. Got the video. Um, let's go select it. Layer, new. And, like, do all your effects and stuff before this, uh, or you might want to do this before, but when you're actually editing, you might want to turn this off just to save a lot of RAM. Uh, so, layer, new, adjustment layer, simple as that. Blah, blah, blah. Now, what adjustment layer does is it adjusts, like, when you add an effect to it, it's going to affect all the layers below it. So, we're going to remember that. Most people, when they're doing color, cor color correction, they're just going, hmm, let's add some curves here. Go a little below, a little above, basic contrast. Hmm, looks good. Done. That's not what we're going to do. We're going to do a little more. So let's reset that. Uh, that still is something to work with, but, you know, it's good. So here I like to use tint, um, but the CC toner also works pretty good, too. Um, and not black. Let's see, mid-tones. Let's turn these to a bit of a greenish, dark green. So now, um, and we want to change this to, let's try about 40, 60, uh, about 40%, maybe add a little tint here. Uh, it's basically like using multiple effects to, uh, to make your color correction. Um yeah, you know, let's just get rid of that tint uh, and this color and the curves. We're gonna use that a lot for the color it correction itself. Like yes, we can use a little bit of the uh, the curves here. It's a little too much. Smooth those out. Yeah, you don't really want a whole lot, but the little bit does make a huge difference. Um. Let's go with green, add a little bit of green in here, light green. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Add the toner, that's too green. And already, you know, it's pretty good. Simple as that. Um, and just, you know, mess around with a whole bunch of different effects. You know, when you want to work with hue and saturation, you can always do that, too. Um, I don't... Personally, I know hue and saturation are so effective, but... You know, I just don't like working with them a whole lot. Uh, they just don't really turn out well for me. I'm not going to bother doing a guide on them, because, uh... Like, the curves and either the toner or the tint, they both work pretty good. Uh, I usually use tint. Um, let's go with a bit of a yellow-green. About 40%. It's looking pretty much the same. Uh, you might want to bring the brightness up with a uh, brightness and contrast. A little too bright and something simple like that and I think it really does make a, a nice difference there and uh, seeing as we, you do always want to use your RGB but uh, sometimes I like to add yet another adjustment layer and do the where is it the curves effects on there And straighten this out.
And yeah, I like I kinda like to do that sometimes. Basically it looks pretty good there. Um you might want to make it a little more yellow. We get pretty close to what I started with. And so I think it looks pretty good. Um oh crap, that's my other clip. Uh yes, this is another clip I'm working on for a video. Uh where I in this case I turn my eye red. I'll do a guide on that later. It's really simple to do. Uh, there's multiple methods of it too. But, so this is what I worked with. This is what I started with. Simple as that. Uh, it would have looked a lot better if I hadn't caught this light shining in, but it was a bright day. Whatever. And I'm also noticing a little bit of this, uh, some color splotches here. So, quick, easy way to fix that. Um,. But it will suck up your RAM a ton. Oh, you might, might could also use a photo filter. Uh, should also bring that out there. Warming filter 81. Yeah, who needs the brightness and contrast when you got the warming filter? Because that looks uh, a bit better. Put it before the tint, though. Uh, so that works too. Uh, yeah, the photo filters work pretty good, but um, one way we can make this whole thing uh, take place, let's see, noise and grain, remove grain, put it on the top adjustment layer, last effect, uh, go to final output, preview, uh, Noise reduction settings, you know, just bring these up to like 1.5 should be good. It's not very much here. And let's see. Eh, something's not working. Um, oh, got to turn it on. There we go. One, there. One point five should work. And this will, like I said, suck up your RAM. But I don't know. Depending on your opinions, it can be very, very worthwhile. Uh, if you're working on something that you want to look really good, might be worth the extra render time. But definitely add this effect last. Like now, you see it. Okay, that's a little too much. It looks really washed out, especially because of the light. So kind of cool. But what you, it sort of like blends the color together. This looks kind of airbrushed, which is kind of nice. Um, we we'll see the before, now the after. Come on, load. It looks kind of weird and airbrushed. Kind of one. But yeah, it still looks pretty good. Uh, if I was to render this out as a video, it would look just fine. Uh, only as an image, it looks kind of airbrushed. Because, uh, let's see if we. Up through a few frames forward. Um, we shall see. Once you stinking load. And there we go. Yes, yeah, looks pretty good. Uh, so, yeah, that's just a few tips you want to use for color correction. You don't have to use them all, but those are the ones that I recommend. I also recommend actually using multiple ones. Uh, curves is indeed a great way to bring out colors. Uh, you're kind of limited in which colors though, but for movies, that's usually all the ones you're really going to need. Uh, I just wish there was sort of a yellowish one. Uh, but that's what you have your photo filters for. The warming filter works pretty good for that. Uh, you could also have a yellow one, but yeah, whatever. And the remove grain works absolute wonders on your footage. 
I'm not going to bother putting in now, but uh, yeah, you get the point. If you have any questions, uh, you know, feel free to ask. Any ideas for something you want me to do a guide on, feel free to ask. I'd love to think it through and figure out how to do it. Uh, i got a few more coming because I'm co making a comeback. I was a little sick there for a while, couldn't really make videos, felt bad. So now I'm making them again. Simple as that. Uh, but yeah, that's some quick color correction tips and tricks. Stuff that works out pretty decent. There's no actual way to call this like a movie effect because there's no such thing as a real movie effect. They have different cameras and it works so much different. Um, and it's all based on which scene, like what kind of scene you're working on, all the different things you're working on. So you can't really have one defined movie look. But anyway, until next time, my name is Tazzles and signing off. Bye.